Hey everyone! Today I have another Bath and Body Works haul to share with you. This is mostly springtime items and there was a few good sales, especially for Body Mist, and I was super excited about getting the new collection. So when the new Cozy collection dropped, I actually did a blind buy. I bought three out of four of the mists and I recently went in to check the coconut cotton smell that's in that collection and I did not end up getting that one. I didn't like that one as much but the three that I did blind buy I actually really loved all of them and I think this is a really great collection. It's really well rounded and I just want to share them with you. So let me just open this up here. This is the first container. This is an online order and this one is the biggest order. They were having a two-pack sale for the wallflowers so I got this one. This is the one that I probably would say is my very favorite Bath & Body Works scent and if I wanted one body care item then it would definitely be in this scent. They don't make any body care in this. The last time they made body care in this was at the very beginning. It was in the CC Bigelow packaging. If any of you are OG uh, Bath & Body Works lovers, then you may know what I'm talking about, but this vanilla birch scent is by far the best scent for home that you can possibly imagine. It's just so good. I cannot even explain it to you. The notes are white birch bark, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood, but the trio of scents together really just make like the best home scent. So I did grab two of these duo packs because they were having like a 650 sale for them and that was a really good deal. That's like a third of the price. So I went ahead and grabbed two of those. The first body mist, that's usually my favorite thing is going in and getting the mists. But uh, this is from the Cozy Collection. I got the Sun Blooms and Suede. This one smells so nice. It's crisp and it's fruity and it's fun. It's got that poppy energy. And the fragrance notes are white raspberry, pink petals, and vanilla cream. So it is a really beautiful one. The vanilla is not heavy. It just kind of brings those more tart notes together. And I really like this one. The next one, I think this is a re-release. I was not doing Bath & Body Works for quite some time, but when I smelt this one, I knew I needed it. And this one is Cloud Nine, also from that cozy collection. I do really love the minimalistic packaging with that little flash of gold. It just feels so elegant and beautiful. The fragrance notes on this one is Lavender Breeze, Morning Dew Drops, and Cozy Amber. I really love amber notes. I love woody notes. And this one is so, so good. The next one has quickly become a favorite for me. This one is probably my new favorite body mist. I've been wearing it pretty exclusively with very few other ones in between. And this one is the Indigo Dreams. Now, this one is a very hit or miss product for people right now. Some people really love it and some people really don't. For me, this scent sticks to me and it's one that I can still smell hours later and it just peeks in for a surprise. So good, so, so good. And some people say the exact opposite, that it doesn't stick, they can't smell it at all, some people say. I'm just loving it. But the fragrance notes are bergamot water, glowing amber, and warm musk. So this one is kind of a unisex scent, but it's so, so good. It's a really light scent too, so if you're not big on really heavy scents, then this one may be up your alley. Definitely go in and try it out. It's lovely. So the last thing 
in this box was part of the winter warm-up sale. This was the very end of that sale. That was the semi-annual sale for this year, but they kind of continued it out and called it the winter warm-up sale, which was just fine because, of course, we love scoring those deals after the sale is over. So this is the Pure Wonder Body Lotion. This is really lovely, and the lotion, it appears to not have the fragrance notes on it, but really lovely. It's one of their more classic, I guess you could call it, scents or their main scents that they keep around. So I grabbed this one at a really great price, probably because it has this kind of snowflake packaging going on for winter, but it is one of my favorite scents. So I really don't mind having a seasonal packaging, especially if it's a scent I already know that I like. So I grabbed that and that's the end of this order. The next group is a in-store shop. This is all mists. This is on the fragrance mist sale day. I got Into the Night, which is a really nice kind of date night scent. It's a deeper smell and it's one of their main collection items. This one is always in the shop and we are glad that it is because it's so good. It's definitely a classic. The fragrance notes are Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, and Mocha Musk. Together it is just the most beautiful blend and I love it. The next one comes out of the Faceted Collection, the new Spring Faceted. This one is Fiji Sunshine, and this one is a really beautiful fruity scent. This one has a lot of jazz to it, and when you're wearing it, you definitely get it over and over again. So it's a really long lasting one, at least on me, and I've come to really enjoy it. This one is fragrance notes of sun-kissed guava, fresh orange, and seaside jasmine. It does have that little bit of floral and together it's really lovely. This one is sure to carry from spring to summer because it's a really lovely, almost tropical kind of vibe. The next one is also part of that faceted collection. This is Beautiful Day. I'm pretty sure this is a re-release. But again, this is one that I hadn't smelled before. The fragrance notes are sun-kissed apple, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. Really beautiful. And this one kind of has a laundry scent to me, but it's just really clean and crisp. And it sounds more like there's a lot of floral here but it doesn't smell ultra floral. It kind of is airy and I just really like it. So I grabbed this one in this collection also. There was Pastel Skies. It was okay, but since I didn't love it, I did not grab that one either. Since I was loving it so much, I did get another Indigo Dreams. I just absolutely love it and needed a backup. I would not want to run out of this one and I don't think they're going to be keeping it forever. I may need another backup on top of this backup. Again with that beautiful packaging, this collection was just really lovely and I'm really glad that I grabbed these. One of the best blind buys I've ever made. The last thing in this bag is the new Among the Clouds. I had a coupon for a free mini and I liked this one. Not enough to where I'd wear it all the time because it is super berry-like, like it's really strong and berry isn't necessarily my go-to scent, you know? So I don't know, I like it, but I just got the mini. I love the packaging on it and the scent notes are really vague. It's like whipped berries and vanilla cloud or something like that. The mini does not have the fragrance notes, but they are only those two notes, berry and cloud or something like that. And it's a really nice one. It's just not my ultra favorite. I liked it enough to grab it though. So that was the last thing from that trip. The very last thing 
is just a single item, but because I loved it so much, I wanted to get the body cream. I'm glad I went into the store though, because when I smelled the body cream, that may be where people are saying they don't smell anything. Like when I smelled the body cream, I had to do a double take, put a little more, put it right on my nose. I'm like, what? is going on. I smell nothing. It almost smelled like plastic, like I was smelling the container or something. I don't know. It was really weird. It was not my jam and smelling plastic on my skin. Ugh, yuck. So I was glad I tried the lotion and the lotion smells just like the spray. So if that has been your experience, try the lotion, try the spray. And if they made this in a perfume, I would definitely have to get some. So lovely. This is everything that I grabbed this go round, and let me just show you the combined haul shot. And this is everything that I grabbed from my spring haul. I don't really plan on going back until sass unless something really piques my interest. So this is kind of my wrap up until the next semi-annual sale. They do every once in a while have really great sales. I just missed a hand cream sale. They were only $1.95 and that's a super great price, but I do have enough to last me until semi-annual sales, so I'm not too bummed. I'm super excited to have gotten my vanilla birch wallflowers. I love that scent so much and I'm really excited to have found some new mists that I have fallen in love with. The Into the Night is kind of a replacement for one that I had before and finished quite some time ago. I was just kind of missing that scent and it's a really good one. So super excited to add all this to my collection as I do go through them pretty quickly. It's always nice to have some new stuff to play with. But if you have enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a like. That also helps other Bath & Body Works lovers to find this video. I have so enjoyed having you here today. Consider subscribing so I don't miss you in the next one. And until next time, friends, thanks so much for hanging with me.